Well, I have another video to how to set up the scene to make it uh, look nice and pretty like, well, not necessarily like this, but have it have an overlay and everything. Uh, I What I did not do is how to do the settings. So we're going to go over that now. So if you want to go to settings and for general, this is just your profile. You can name it however you like, make new ones or what, what have you. Uh, next, you want to go to encoding. You want to choose X264. Uh, don't do NVIDIA, even if you have the ability to do so. If you're going to be streaming to Twitch, you're going to want, you need to use uh, CBR, and and you're going to enable paddings. Now, for these numbers, you need to do some uh, some research first. Okay, the first thing you need to go is you need to go to speedtest.net, which I already have, and then I'll go ahead and, and run a speed test. For me, uh, these are my stats, and uh, these being my stats, this, the upload is what you're concerned with. So that is my upload, and then after you do that. You, what you need to do is you need to go to obs.com and go to the help in the top right. You go to help and then you go to estimator. That's where I am right here. And uh, so we're streaming magic online. So it's a static action, basically a turn-based game. And you just type in whatever your whatever your uh, your upload speed is here. And you go ahead and recommend the settings and it gives you what you need to be doing. So what we're looking for here is the, the max bit rate and the buffer size. So uh, I'm going to run it down to about 1200 here, like 1200, 700 here, just in case. So 1200, 700. Uh, these audio settings are pretty good, 128, and you want to use double uh, AAC and not MP3. AAC is way better than MP3. That's what I'm like. Uh, you want to go to live stream. Now, uh, in order to find out which server you're going to, for uh, because I live in Denver, it's better for me to go to Dallas. You can Google jtvping.exec. It's pretty easy to oh, run. And uh, it tells you what your latency is. Uh, for me, Dallas, it's either Dallas. Strangely enough, when I'm in Denver, it's either D Dallas or Miami are the best. Um, I just choose Dallas business. You know, geographically, it's closer. But... So I want to go, I'm, you connect to Dallas. Now you want to get your stream key. Um, you can find it by going to your dashboard, your Twitch dashboard. And then from there, you can go to stream key. It's one of the options and then you just type it in here. So, and then I save it to, I save it to, to my, uh, you don't have to have minimized network impact on unless you, unless you want to be streaming uh, other games. You don't have to have that on. And then uh, I have it. I saved to my files so I can upload stuff to YouTube. You don't have to do this, so this is all optional right here. And then um, yes, and this this is your this is your monitor resolution right here. Mine is a 1920 by 1080 monitor. Um, now you as uh, as the uh, estimator has told me, I can really only 720 is basically as low, low as you can go to be able to read the text, and you want to go to best detail if your computer can possibly handle it. If your computer can't handle it, go to the, go to these other ones. But uh, you want 30 frames per second, and you have, this is mandatory right here. Disable arrow is mon mandatory. It even says disabling arrow is strongly recommended if using monitor capture, which you have to do just to get to capture magic online, because window and game capture do not work. Would. Uh, this is just your microphone. Make sure you have the right microphone selected. And uh, I use, uh, as you can see, I use the Siberia version too because I live in an apartment building and I have to use inside voices, but um, it kind of cuts off the tops and the lows. So your only microphone is totally up to you to, to find. And uh, for here, definitely want to use multi-threaded optimization. Definitely use it at normal. See buffering time 700. Uh, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Uh, you, you, for me, it defaults to very fast, okay? And for 99.9% .9 of play, uh, people, this is the correct call. Uh, if your computer is bad, it def it says that very fast is actually normal. It's the, it's the baseline. If your computer is bad, you go to ultra fast or super fast. If your computer is very good, like my computer is top of the line, then you want to go to medium to slower, slower. Um, basically, it, it eats it massively eats up your processing power to get a very, very marginal increase in the quality of your stream. So you don't don't feel like it's necessary for you to go lower than it's very fast is good for 99.9% .9 of people. I, I put it on medium because I know what I'm doing. You want to keep this on main and not high. Um, my, my understanding is that high doesn't work on mobile devices and tablets and stuff. So you want to just keep it on main. 
Your keyframe interval has to be two seconds for Twitch, so keep that on. Definitely want to, you need to use constant frame rate, which is CFR. And uh, the rest of this is just leave that at default. And uh, this is the these are some plugins that you don't have to utilize. So there you go.